डायबिटीज ये वर्ड सुनते या तो इंसुलिन का इंजेक्शन वरना हाई शुगर का रिपोर्ट याद आता है राइट बट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज डायबिटीज हाउ डज इट स्टार्ट वॉट आर इट्स टाइप्स एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली वॉट हैपन्स इफ वी इग्नोर इट हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज डॉक्टर कोमल गुप्ता एंड टूडे आई विल ब्रेक इट ऑल डाउन फॉर यू इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड रियल सोल्यूशन सो लेट्स बिगिन सो द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वॉट इज डायबिटीज नाउ डायबिटीज इज अ क्रॉनिक कंडीशन वेर योर बॉडी कांट मैनेज द ब्लड ग्लूकोज और शुगर लेवल्स प्रॉपरली ग्लूकोज इज द मेन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी बट इट नीड्स अ की एंड दैट की इज इंसुलिन इंसुलिन हेल्प ग्लूकोज एंटर इन टू द सेल सो इन डायबिटीज द इंसुलिन इज इधर नॉट प्रेजेंट नॉट सफिशियंट इनफ और नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली ऐसे सोचो कि ग्लूकोज एक पार्सल है एंड इंसुलिन इज द डिलीवरी पर्सन इफ देर इज नो डिलीवरी गाय और ही इज लेजी और इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली देन द पार्सल दैट इज द ग्लूकोज कीप्स पाइलिंग अप इन योर ब्लड एंड दैट कॉजेज हाई ब्लड शुगर लेवल्स सो वॉट डिज डायबिटीज डू टू आर बॉडी वैन ब्लड शुगर लेवल्स रिमेन हाई इन आर बॉडी फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इट स्लोली स्टार्ट डैमेजिंग ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गन ऑफ आर बॉडी इट डैमेज इज योर नर्व कॉजिंग नमनेस your eyes causing blurry vision your kidneys which leads to kidney failure and also your heart which then increases the risk of heart attack it's like the sugar has become toxic after overstaying its welcome so how does diabetes happen there are different mechanisms and it leads to different types of diabetes in one type the insulin is attacked by the immune system of our own body but in the other type the body becomes resistant to the insulin and in some other types there is there some genetic or hormonal component playing its role the lifestyle and genes they together become a dangerous combination so let's discuss the types of diabetes type 1 diabetes as we discussed it is autoimmune that is the body's immune system starts attacking the insulin producing cells of our pancreas so the type 1 diabetes it manifests at an early stage and the person will need insulin for the rest of his or her life type 2 diabetes is lifestyle related if you have a very sedentary lifestyle or you don't exercise then the body starts getting resistant to the insulin so it is more common in adults it manifests later on then the gestational diabetes is the one which happens during pregnancy but if it is taken care of properly then it goes away post delivery now two fancy ones are lada and modi lada means latent autoimmune diabetes in adults it is autoimmune like type 1 but it doesn't manifest in early stages of life it shows up later that's why it is latent autoimmune diabetes and the second fancy one is modi modi means maturity onset diabetes of the young modi is often misdiagnosed as type 1 or type 2 diabetes but you should remember it is not autoimmune and it is not lifestyle related in modi the insulin production is not completely absent as in type 1 diabetes it is just reduced and because it is genetic that's why it manifests early in life that's why it is also called maturity onset diabetes of young and other some types are secondary onset diabetes because of some pancreatic disease some injury due to drugs or or other on endocrine related issues now we will discuss some early signs and tests that will help you in diagnosis in diagnosing diabetes so firstly we will discuss the signs and symptoms diabetes mostly manifests as a uh, frequent urination especially at night increased thirst fatigue blurred vision slow wound healing and unexplained weight loss especially in type 1 if we discuss the biochemical tests can be diagnosed by number 1 fasting blood glucose more than or equal to 126 mg per deciliter random blood sugar more than 200 mg per deciliter with symptoms hba1c which is a 3 month average of our blood sugar level if it is more than or equal to 6.5% it is also a sign of diabetes and and also positive oral glucose tolerance test in which the doctor will give you 75 grams of glucose and then check your blood sugar levels later on to see if your body is able to deal with this glucose properly or not So what will happen if this diabetes is left untreated there are some short term and some long term complications and these are very serious complications 
So, di untreated diabetes can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis, which is mainly seen in type 1 diabetes. Uh, in, in it, the body starts breaking down its fat, which leads to acid buildup, which can be life threatening. Then there is hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state HHS, which is mainly seen in type 2 diabetes. It is high sugar but without the ketones part. The other long term risks of untreated diabetes are heart disease, stroke, kidney failure, nerve damage, especially in the foot and poor wound healing which can then lead to ulcers, gangrene formation and ultimately these all may also lead to amputations and eye damage which can lead to blindness. So diabetes, it is a silent killer but it is preventable. So then the question arises, how can you prevent diabetes? So you have to first check your family history. If you are pre-diabetic or if you are at risk of diabetes, then and firstly if you are overweight or obese you should lose your weight five to six percent of weight loss will also help a lot then secondly eat balanced meals the meals that you eat should be high in fiber and protein and should low and should be low in processed fats and refined carbs try to exercise at least 30 minutes a day start with 30 minutes a day and or five to seven thousand steps a day and then keep on increasing them to about 10,000 steps a day or at least 45 minutes per day workout three to four times a week. Sleep well and manage your stress. If your body is under a lot of stress, then it, it won't be able to heal itself properly. And if you, if you have a history of diabetes, then get screened. Your body will give you warning signs. So listen to it before it screams. Now, what should diabetics do to stay in control? Firstly, I would suggest regular monitoring of your blood glucose levels and take medicines or insulin, whatever is prescribed to you by a doctor regularly. You should not skip your medicines. It can be very harmful for you. Follow a diabetic friendly diet. Your diet should be high in fiber, high in protein, low in processed and refined carbs, fats, sugars and also exercise but safely. Try to avoid getting any injuries because already your body is working extra shifts and then and your blood has a lot of sugar so it leads to high viscosity and so poor wound healing and nerve damage and all those things. So try to so exercise but also at the same time keep yourself safe. Try to avoid any injuries and also try to get annual eye, kidney, foot checkups and always keep emergency glucose nearby because it's not about restriction it's about regulation so as a summary let's wrap it up diabetes isn't just high sugar it affects your whole body early detection or lifestyle changes can reverse or delay it so know your type get tested and take charge because the best doctor is your own awareness so if this video helped you out even a little bit do share it with someone who might benefit from it. Also comment down any other doubts that you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss other simple and life-saving health content. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.